It has been an especially violent start to the second half of the year in Cincinnati. Eight people have been shot in the first four days of July. Local 12's David Winter is live tonight at Smell Riverfront Park with some perspective on where we stand this year compared to years past. David. Kyle, the numbers are not looking very good at all. And while things seem perfectly fine down here right now, Smell Riverfront Park, a lot of people down here enjoying the park. We are on track for a very violent year. At this rate, Cincinnati PD is going to have to order more crime tape. They are on track to go through as many rolls this year as they did in 2017, which was an especially violent year. But whether it was through community or police efforts, those numbers waned through 2018 and 19. But the COVID shutdown appeared to leave some people little to do except find trouble. Crime began picking up again, and 2020 became the deadliest year in Cincinnati history. 230 shootings in the first six months. The year ended with a record 94 homicides. And while the first six months of 2021 are not as bad as 2020, we are on track with 2017. We caught up with Donald Adams in OTR. He says he was just talking to someone about kids killing kids. Tell them about put down the guns and pick up a Bible, but evidently they didn't get the memo. Along with God, Don says punishment is the answer. You get caught with a gun, you do 10 years a day, you get caught with it. Then you won't care it. If you ain't got a license to carry, you shouldn't have it. That's, that's, my, whew, that's my boy. So anything that I can do to be in his life all the time, definitely will. Definitely here, yes sir. Malik Bland says he's going to stay close with his four-year-old. Along with parental involvement, he says staying busy is the key. Sports, um, club, boys and girls club, any, anything to keep the kids busy, that'll help. As far as the Riverfront and Central Business District goes, crime has stayed consistent over the past five years, with just six or seven shootings from January through June each year, except, of course, 2020, where violence spiked. Philip Jackson and his family live in Hyde Park. He says he'll still come downtown and to the riverfront, but not during large events anymore. Thinking ahead to the Labor Day fireworks. Yeah, I think probably less, less incentivized to come down unless there's, you know, beefed up security. Well, with schools and activities reopening and people going back to work, the thought is the shootings will slow down. But we are going into the most violent part of the year traditionally. Kyle? All right, Local 12's David Winner reporting for us live tonight. David, thank you so much.